Often, all that is required for us to be healed is faith. In the book of Mark, chapter 5, verses 25 to 34, a certain woman who had suffered from continuous flow of blood for 12 years approaches Jesus in faith for healing. She had spent all that she had on the best physicians for healing without any result. But she believed that if she could touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ, she would be healed. And when, with her unwavering faith, she stretched her hands amongst the crowd, Jesus was surrounded by, touched the hem of his garment, she immediately was made whole. Jesus, sensing that virtue has gone out of him, turned to the crowd, affirming her faith, saying, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Mark 5 verse 34 Now this story depicts the miraculous healing of Christ through faith. Just like the woman with the issue of blood had never met Christ but only heard about his wonderful miraculous works, believed and was healed. So also can you receive divine restoration by just trusting and believing in the divine power of Christ, made available to as many that believe. The divine healing of Christ not only brings physical restoration, but freedom and inner peace from sin. So as we pray together, I want you to open your heart and believe that whatever area of your life needs deliverance, you shall receive it in the name of Jesus. The scripture made us understand that he is the greatest physician and that by his stripes we are healed. We believe in the declaration of his words that we shall not die but live to proclaim the goodness of God in the land of the living. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, so I speak life into anything dead in your life. We stand in faith, believing in a, in a good testimony, just as you did for the woman with the issue of blood, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace, believing that the same power that flows through the woman with the issue of blood is in our midst even now i ask that your restorative power flow bring in good health and hold us to you and your loved ones i pray that god surrounds you with his comfort and presence and grants you the strength to endure i decree that you are healed of all your infirmity and forgiven of all your sins in jesus name james 5 15 says and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well and the Lord will raise them. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. I pray that your mind is fixed in the steadfastness of our Lord Jesus Christ and that you are filled with indestructible hope in his word. For the Lord says in James 5 verses 14 and 15, Is anyone among you seek let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. I decree that by the power in the name of Jesus, a name above every other name in heaven and on earth, you receive unfathomable healing and comfort of the Holy Spirit. You are healed from all physical, mental and emotional suffering. I decree today that by the unmatched power of the Holy Ghost, you experience the transformative touch of grace in all areas of your suffering in Jesus' name. And Abba Father, your holy word contains accounts of all manners of miraculous healings done by Christ during his earthly ministry. Healings which seemed impossible to the ordinary eye. I believe you are the same God of yesterday, today and forevermore and with power that transcends human limits. And I decree that everyone under the sound of my voice, that you receive that same supernatural healing and that all negative prognoses in your life are defied in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord teaches you that his word is life and health to your body. May you find healing in the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
clinging to his words and knowing that his words will bring you restoration. I want you to repeat this after me from the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. As you repeated those words in faith, I declare that by the divine ordinances, you are healed and your infirmities cease in Jesus' name, never to return in the name of Jesus. Choose to bless God at all times, even amid your current trials and believe in his promises that you are healed already. As I pray a deliverance mantle is wrapped around you and upon you and that you shall have the cause to give testimony of visible healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Those around you shall acknowledge the presence of God in your life through your healing. Your healing shall be the cause of testimony to those around. And finally, I lean on the promise of 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 2 to 24. He bore our sins in his body on the cross that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been healed. I pray for the manifestation of this word in your life and those around you. And I say, gracious Father, I pray you hear all our petitions and that your healing power flows abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please. Our gracious Father offers individuals another chance, a new opportunity even after an initial one has been missed or lost. Our Creator demonstrated this attribute by providing humanity with a second opportunity to re-establish a connection with Him subsequent to their initial downfall. Therefore, it's essential to recognize that the chances or opportunities that have been forfeited or lost within your family can be regained, allowing Him to restore and replace what has been lost. So let us pray. The promise of the word of God declared in Jewel 2 verse 25 says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, just as the Lord promised restoration to his to the devastation of the locusts. I pray for a similar restoration to you in the name of Jesus. Broken relationships are restored, wounds of the past are healed, and the fabric of love and trust that has been torn apart are mended in the name of Jesus. I declare the brokenness can take any forms, misunderstanding, hurtful words, strained relationships, or even years of neglect. And I pray that God in his infinite mercy and grace who redeems hills will make all things new in Jesus' name. May God begin the work of restoration in your life now in the name of Jesus. Where there is pain, healing comes. Where there is bitterness, seeds of forgiveness are sown. Where there is discord, unity and understanding is fostered. I ask for divine intervention to repair what has been damaged and to rebuild what has been lost in the name of Jesus. I pray for softening of hearts in your family that have grown callous, healing of wounds that have been festered and reconciliation with the estrangement. May the Lord grant you and your family wisdom to navigate through the complexities of relationships and the humility to seek forgiveness and extend grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for the peace of reconciliation to permeate your life and your family, allowing forgiveness to flow freely and healing to take root. May the love of God be the binding force that unites you and your family, enabling your family to move forward with hope and a renewed sense of purpose in the name of Jesus. I pray that our Heavenly Father instills within your family a willingness to let go of the past and embrace a future filled with restoration, joy and reconciliation. May you experience the beauty of God's transforming power, turning brokenness into a testimony of your grace and faithfulness. May his restoring work not only mend the visible fractures, but also bring a deeper spiritual healing and renewal in your family. May the Lord grant to you and your family the strength 
to trust in his restoration process, knowing that his plans are for the welfare of you and your family and not for harm. I surrender your family into the loving hands of God, confident that his promise of restoration will be fulfilled. Father, thank you for your unfailing love and the assurance that nothing is beyond your redeeming power. In the name of Jesus. In the assurance of your promise in Isaiah 61 verse 1, which speaks of binding up the brokenhearted and proclaiming freedom to the captives. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. I pray for every fractured relationship, every shattered bond, your family that yearns for your divine touch of restoration. I pray that the Spirit of God moves mightily within your family, bringing forth reconciliation, healing and renewed love. May the Lord heal the brokenness and the pain that has found its dwelling within your family. Merciful Father, you know that wounds that have turned this family apart, the misunderstanding that have sown seeds of discord and the hurts that have caused separation. I leave these hurts, pains and fractures to you, asking for divine intervention. May the Spirit move among your family like a gentle breeze, bringing healing to the brokenhearted, comfort to the hurting and the restoration to the estranged. Bring reconciliation where there is discord, understanding where there is misunderstanding and forgiveness where there is pain in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord instills within your family a heart of compassion, kindness and forgiveness modeled after his own. Grant your family the strength to bear with one another, to extend grace and to embrace reconciliation with open arms in the name of Jesus. Amen. May his spirit work within them, breaking down walls of pride and bitterness and replacing them with breaches of love, empathy and understanding. Let his divine presence mend what has been turned apart, restoring not just relationships but also trust, respect and unity. I pray the Lord pour out his healing balm upon the hearts of your family members replacing hurt with empathy, anger with forgiveness and despair with hope. Wounds that are festered over time are bound, granting your family members the courage to confront pain and the humility to seek forgiveness and reconciliation in Jesus' name. For the captives in Isaiah 61 verse 1, I pray for liberation within your family, liberation from past hurts, destructive patterns and emotional captivity. I pray that they are released from the chains that bind them to brokenness and they guided towards the path of restoration. They are empowered to embody the love, grace and forgiveness that reflect character of the Lord. May they find peace and guidance in the word of God, allowing this truth to illuminate their path towards reconciliation and restoration. May the Holy Spirit continue to work tirelessly within your family, healing wounds restoring relationships and ushering in a newfound sense of unity, peace and love that only God can provide in Jesus name. I trust in your unfailing love, O Father, believing that you are faithful and the good work you have begun in the family shall be completed in the name of Jesus. In Amos 9.18, the word of God declares, I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. As promised in Amos 9 verse 18, restoration to the people of Israel, I ask that the grace of God permeates every aspect of your family's business. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the wounds of financial strain and setbacks are healed, broken strategies are mended, and their venture is infused with wisdom and guidance from the Lord. Let the healing touch from the Lord transform losses into lessons, failures into stepping stones and the challenges into opportunities for growth. The promise of rebuilding ruined cities echoes a hope for your family's businesses. I pray for the rebuilding of confidence, innovation and prosperity within its framework. I ask that the Lord guides the leaders and the stakeholders as they chart a course towards restoration, holding on to them the hope and the promise of renewal that only God can provide. I decree your family is granted the courage to embrace change 
to be void with resilience and to seek new paths when faced with adversity. May the setbacks of the past become catalysts for innovation and transformation leading to a brighter and more prosperous future. In the name of Jesus, the restoration extends beyond material wealth. It encompasses the renewal of hope and purpose and vision. The spirit of your family members are revived and are infused with creativity, determination and a sense of purpose aligned with the will of God. As you seek his guidance and strength, may your journey towards restoration be marked by his grace and miraculous intervention. I entrust your family into God's loving care, knowing that his desire is for reconciliation and restoration. May his perfect will be done as you seek to honor him and your family. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God is willing to ever bless us children. After God created man, the first thing that was mentioned in the Bible to man was that he blessed man. Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 and 28 give the account. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God he created them male and female. He created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. In Genesis 12 verses 1 and 2, the Lord had said to Abram, Leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. All this is to show how much God wants his children to enjoy his blessing. He even redeemed man so that he could enjoy the blessings of God according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 14. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. To release the blessings of God upon your family you can key on these prayers and receive with faith what the Lord has in store for you and your family. And so let's pray if you believe this prayer. As I bow my heart in prayer for you and your family, I declare the profound words of Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I declare in the name of Jesus, may this timeless blessing resonate deeply within the core of your family, ushering forth God's abundant blessings upon each member in Jesus' name. I pray that blessings of the Lord surround your family like a shield, guarding and preserving them in every season and circumstance. I pray that the face of the Lord shines upon them, illuminating their part with divine light and filling their hearts with the warmth of the love of God. As they walk through the complexities of life, may they tangibly feel your grace guiding and sustaining them. I declare open doors of opportunities, wisdom in decision making and success in their endeavors in the name of Jesus. May favor be a distinguishing mark upon their lives, drawing others to witness goodness and faithfulness of the Lord. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for divine protection to encompass every aspect of their lives, shield them from harm both seen and unseen. May your hand of protection cover their homes, their journeys and their endeavors, safeguarding them from any form of danger or adversity. I stand on the word of God according to Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. 
that your family, like a tree planted by streams of water, thrives and grows in every season of life in the name of Jesus. May their roots be deeply anchored in the word, drawing sustenance from the grace of God and bearing fruit of righteousness, love and kindness. Just as the tree remains green in times of heat and does not fear the drought, may your family be unshaken by life's challenges. May the presence of God sustain them, providing strength and resilience in every circumstance in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that the Lord blesses your family with a bountiful harvest of blessings. The lives of your family members will be a testament to God's faithfulness, bearing fruit in abundance, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. In the spirit of Psalm 31 verse 19, how great is your goodness which you have stored up for those who fear you which you bestow in the sight of men. I stand in the assurance that goodness of the Lord is boundless and his blessing overflows in your family. I pray that your family may continually walk in the fear of the Lord, experiencing the overflow of his blessings in an abundance they are bestowed with a profound awareness of presence of the Lord. May the goodness of God be palpable in the lives of your family members manifesting in every relationship, decision and endeavors. Let it be an evident to all who encounter them that they are recipients of God's bountiful grace in Jesus name. I pray for divine intervention in the daily lives of your family. I release the blessings of God upon their homes, relationships, careers and aspirations. May the blessings pave the way for their success and fulfillment, guiding their steps and directing their parts. I release the host of heaven angels to encamp around them, guarding them in their going out and coming in. I declare that your family will be vessels through which the blessings of the Lord is displayed, impacting the lives of those around them for your glory, drawing others closer to the loving embrace of the Father. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8, the Apostle Paul beautifully illustrates the abounding nature of God's blessings. As God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I acknowledge the ability of the Lord to bless your family abundantly beyond measure in the name of Jesus. And I pray that your family may experience the richness of your provisions, Lord finding sufficiency in every area of their lives through the Father's overflowing grace. I stand in accordance to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 that this family is bestowed with an abundance that transcends mere material possessions. Your family is showered with all spiritual blessings, their hearts filled with peace, joy and unwavering faith in God's providence. May the blessings overflow into their relationships fostering love, harmony and understanding among family members. Let the grace of God be the foundation upon which they build their lives, fortifying their bonds and unity. As your family navigates the challenges of life, may they experience supernatural provision in abundance. May they receive the resources they need for their daily sustenance and I am proud to be a blessing to others in their communities. The Word of God in Ephesians 1.3 declares, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I proclaim that your family encounters the fullness of all spiritual riches and experience abundant grace in their lives. May your family understand and embrace the debt of these spiritual blessings available to them through the grace of God. I decree that they receive revelation of the richness of God's love, the forgiveness found in Christ and the inheritance bestowed upon the children of God. May they grasp the depth of mercies of God, the power of your spirit and the assurance of eternal life in Christ Jesus. I pray that your family walks in the abundance of spiritual blessings, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding God, their heart and mind in Christ Jesus as I declare that their lives are filled with the joy that comes from knowing the Father deeply and intimately. They are enabled to recognize and embrace the spiritual blessings the Lord has lavished upon them. 
grounding their identity and purpose in Christ. May their lives serve as a testament to God's abundant grace and blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. Please, Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3 declare, Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things it does for me. It forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. This signifies that the Lord's benevolence includes healing people from their illnesses and ailments. The Lord doesn't desire anyone to suffer from sickness. It takes pleasure in bringing healing from any form of illness. Hence, if you or your family members are experiencing any ailment, you can use this prayer. And so let's pray together in faith as you say Amen. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for your boundless love and your unwavering promise to restore and heal. In line with your word in Jeremiah 30, 17, I stand on the foundation of the declaration to mend wounds and restore health. I pray that the healing power of God flows through your family, healing every form of illness as I speak healing emotionally. I pray for healing in your mind, soul and body. I pray in the name of Jesus as I uproot every form of sickness in your body. You're whole for Christ has made you whole. May the healing grace of God be poured out upon you. May the Lord bring complete restoration and wholeness to any area in your life that has been affected by illness, discomfort or distress. Every ailment is healed, every pain soothed and every brokenness mended within your physical, emotional and spiritual being. Father, I pray for discernment and wisdom for them as they navigate their lives to health journey. May the Lord guide you to make choices that honor your bodies and glorify Him. I pray that the Lord grants you the wisdom to seek proper care, the strength to endure and the faith to trust in God and healing. God's healing power. Let the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit surround your family, instilling in them a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding. May the peace guard your heart and mind, alleviating you of any anxieties and worries related to your health. In the name of Jesus, I pray for resilience and endurance in times of difficulties as you face health challenges. May you find strength in God's healing promises. May your faith in the healing power be unwavering, anchoring them in hope and trust in God's perfect timing and plan. You are blessed with the energy and vitality needed to fulfill your daily responsibilities to enjoy life abundantly. May God grant you the grace to embrace each day with gratitude, knowing that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, that you experience the death of God's love and compassion through your health journey. May the grace and mercy overflow in your life, bringing not only physical restoration, but also a deepened faith and a renewed sense of God's presence in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of interceding for these ones' health of your beloved child. May the name of the Lord be glorified through your testimony of restored health and wellness in the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus, you said in your word in Isaiah 53 verse 5, By your stripes we are healed. Lord, I lift up your beloved child before you as I hold on to this assurance of your healing and restoration. You are the ultimate healer and I cling to your promise of wellness and wholeness. Gracious God, your word declares that through the stripes borne by Jesus, we find healing. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, asking you, Father, for God's divine touch to encompass them. May the healing power of God flow through whatever and wherever you feel sick. I pray, O oh Lord, you alone intimately know every detail of the health issues, both spoken and unspoken. 
you understand their physical needs their struggles and their pains i ask in the name of jesus that the healing power flow through you now whether it's physical emotional or mental healing needed let the restoration flow abundantly into their lives in the name of jesus i pray for strength and resilience in their bodies just as your word assures us that through christ's sacrifice we find restoration and renewal and i pray lord do strengthen their immune system grant their vitality and fortify their bodies against illness or infirmity that seek to harm them in the name of jesus lord jesus you bore our pains and carried our sorrows you understand the depth of human suffering i pray that you lord your compassion touches alleviates any discomfort pain or distress we may be experiencing lord i ask for peace which surpasses all understanding to guard our hearts and minds in christ jesus and i pray for the one under the sound of my voice to experience the tranquility that comes from knowing that God is in control and may your healing hand be upon them in the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord God you direct them to a supportive community, skilled health care providers and loving individuals who can offer comfort and assistance. Lord, I stand on the promise of your word declaring healing, restoration and good health over their lives. May this prayer be a catalyst for your miraculous work in their lives, bringing glory and honor to your name in the name of Jesus. King of Kings, your word who declares in 3 John 1 verse 2, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Lord, I humbly come before your presence and I pray for the well-being of this people, committing them into your loving hands. Father, you are the ultimate source of life and health. Your promise of wellness extends beyond the physical realm. It encompasses the spiritual and emotional aspects of our being. And so today, I pray that the health of this dear one aligns with my supplication with your divine will, Father, may the grace and blessings overflow upon every area of their lives, infuse their lives with vibrant health that stems from the depth of their souls. Just as your word promised, may their physical well-being reflect the peace and wholeness that exists within their spirits in Jesus' name. May the Lord grant to you strength like the soaring eagle described in Isaiah 40 31 as you place your hope in him invigorate your mind may any weariness be replaced with the robust endurance that allows you to overcome any obstacle or challenge that comes your way as you wait upon the Lord may your strength be rejuvenated in moments of fatigue and weakness may they find a reservoir of energy and resilience knowing that you father are their sustainer and source of unfailing strength Father, I pray for the restoration of any areas where health has been compromised. Touch each individual within this family unit with your healing hand, whether it's physical ailment, emotional distress or spiritual depletion. I ask for your divine touch to bring forth restoration and wholeness. May their lives reflect the wisdom found in Proverbs 3 verses 7 and 8. May you lean not on your own understanding, but lean wholly on God. May you walk in God's ways, trusting that his guidance lead to health and strength. May the Lord grant you wisdom in your choices, discernment in seeking medical care, and peace in your heart as you navigate any health-related concerns. May he strengthen your faith and assurance in his ability to bring about healing and well-being in every area of your life. Lord, thank you for your infinite mercy as you provide them with strength to overcome, the patience to endure and the faith to believe in your healing power. We trust in your loving care, knowing that you are attentive to our prayers and that you've answered them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Please, Please believe God. that being healthy is invaluable a precious gift bestowed by God. There was a king in the Bible who fell seriously ill near death. 
He was told to put his affairs in order before because he wouldn't recover. However, after praying, the prophet who announced his impending death was sent back to declare that he would be healed and granted more years. The story underscores the father's desire for his children to enjoy good health. Matthew 8, 17 explains that through his death on the cross, Christ bore and carried away your sicknesses, breaking the hold of illness over you. This fulfilled the words of the prophet Isaiah. He took our illnesses and bore our diseases. Additionally, 2 Timothy 1.7 assures that the Lord has granted you a spirit of soundness and clarity of mind. Optimal health in every aspect surpasses the value of riches. God has pledged us well-being not only physically, but also in our innermost being. Please join me in seeking divine intervention for your family's health matters through this prayer. If you're ready, let's pray. Lord, as I lift my voice in prayer for you and your family, I am reminded of the comforting words found in Psalm 103 verses 2 to 3. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. And so in the name of Jesus standing on the word of God, I declare that the Lord's divine healing touch encompasses each member of your family, restoring health and vitality in body, mind and spirit. I pray for the well-being of your family, seeking God's mercy to envelope you in all good health. May the Lord grant your family physical strength and mirrors the robustness of their souls. May his healing power flow through their bodies, restoring any ailment or weakness that hinders their vitality. May the grace and the mercy of the Father be a balm that soothes any physical, emotional and spiritual distress in your family, bringing about complete restoration. In moments of uncertainty or pain, may the Lord's presence be felt, bringing solace and reassurance to their hearts. Strengthening your faith, I pray that amidst any health challenges, you and your family may find unwavering trust in his ability to heal and restore in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that you and your family receive wisdom to make healthy choices in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the Lord's protective hand to guard you and your family against illnesses and diseases. Let his divine shield encompass your lives, keeping you safe from any harm or affliction that seeks to diminish your well-being. May the promise of 3 John 1 verse 2 resonate within your family's lives, flourishing not only in physical health, but also in the profound wellness of their souls. May your lives be a testimony to the faithfulness of the Father, revealing his power to heal and sustain. Father, in your infinite compassion, extend your healing touch to every part of their being, encompassing body, mind and spirit. May their health and well-being be a reflection of your mercy and grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and your family's health from the promise in Jeremiah 30, 17, which says, But I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, let this assurance be your foundation as I live the hearts of you and your beloved family in petition for the health and well-being. According to the promise of the Father, I pray for restoration of the health of your family in the name of Jesus. And may the Lord give you and your family hope and comfort you in times of need. I pray for each member of your cherished family. May the healing power of God touch every aspect of their lives, body, mind and spirit. Where there is illness or discomfort, I pray for God's restorative hand to bring healing and wholeness. As mentioned in Isaiah 40 verse 31, I pray for your renewed strength for your family, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. I pray that you and your family are strengthened in body and fortified in spirit. May your hope and trust in God be the wellspring of enduring resilience and unwavering faith in Jesus' name. 
I pray that the Lord provides you and your family with the endurance to face any health challenges that may come your way. The Lord provides you and your family with the grace to persevere through moments of weakness, knowing that in your weakness, his strength shines most brilliantly in Jesus' name. May the Lord's comforting presence surround you and your family like a gentle embrace, bringing you solace to where you are anxious, weary, or in pain. Let his peace, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I pray for a restoration of vitality and energy in each member of your family's life. May they find renewed joy in their daily lives, experiencing the fullness of health that enables them to serve God and each other with compassion and enthusiasm. I entrust your entire journey of health and healing for your family into the Lord's loving arms and hands. May His will be done, knowing that His plans for you are filled with hope and a future. As I lift my voice in prayer for you and your cherished family, I am reminded of the wisdom in Proverbs 3 verses 7 and 8. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. May this truth be your guide in light as you and your family seek God's grace and healing touch upon the family's health. The word instructs us to trust in you and to turn away from our own understanding, dear Father. And I pray that you grant everyone under the sound of my voice and their family the humility and wisdom to follow your ways, trusting in your goodness and mercy. I pray for the Lord's reverence for you and your family to permeate every corner of your family's hearts and minds. May they seek God's guidance in all things, acknowledging His sovereignty over their lives. May the Holy Spirit help you to shun anything that draws you and your family away from God's will and His path of righteousness. I pray for your family's health, physical and vitality to embrace each other. Just as God's word promises, I pray for robust health that permeates your bodies, bringing strength, resilience, and wellness. May any ailment or weakness be health and strength. I pray that the Lord grants you and your family the discernment to make choices that honors Him, as I ask that the Holy Spirit leads you to a healthy lifestyle. May you embrace habits and practices that nourish your bodies, minds, and spirits, aligning with God's design for holistic well-being. I also lift up the emotional and mental health of your family. In moments of stress, anxiety or weariness, I pray for God's peace that surpasses all understanding to flood their hearts. May His presence be a soothing balm, comforting you and your family and bringing tranquility to your minds. I pray for you and your family. Sickness will not take away any member of your family. Your mortal bodies are quickened by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray for your spiritual health that the Lord instills within you and your family a deep desire to prioritize your spiritual health. May you seek God fervently, finding solace and strength in His presence as you and your family grow in your relationship with Him. May your souls find true nourishment and satisfaction. I commit your family's health onto God's capable hands, knowing that He is ultimate healer. May the Lord grant you and your family the wisdom to care for your bodies, the strength to face any health challenges, and the faith to trust in His unfailing love and a healing power. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel as God blesses you as you do.